One Step Equations, Part 2, Multiplication and Division. So here we're going to translate sentences and we're going to um, solve, f translate the sentences into equations and solve for these equations. So the sentences we're looking at will have uh, products and quotients. We'll have multiplication and division type problems. So let's take a look at the first one. The product of 4 and W is equal to 12. So the product, remember, is multiplication. So we're multiplying 4 and W and an equal sign equal to 12. Next problem, the quotient of Y and 12 is 36. So the quotient is going to be a division problem y divided by 12 equals 36 and 3 fourths of a number is 8 again when we have a fraction 3 fourths of automatically becomes a multiplication so 3 fourths times a number is going to equal a 8 Here's another example that we're going to translate. A house that sold for $225,000 is three times its assessed value A. So we have to find our assessed value. Well, we don't have to find it. We just have to set up the equation. So the selling price is three times its assessed value, and the selling price was $225,000. And so we set that up with um, 225,000 as a selling price. The is becomes the equal sign, and three times its assessed value is A. So this equation would help us find the assessed value. So how are we going to solve for equations like that? For a multiplication equation like the one we just saw, we're going to divide by the same number on each side to isolate the variable. If you happen to have a division equation, we would just simply multiply. So again, just like addition and subtraction, we do the opposite to solve for the isolated, to isolate the variable. Um, and we also want to make sure that we check the solutions after we have found a potential solution to make sure our solution is in fact correct. So here's an example. We have uh, 6x equals to 36. We note that this is a multiplication uh, equation. So in order to solve for this, we're going to want to divide by 6. That's the number being multiplied by x. So when you divide by 6 on the left-hand side, you have 6 over 6 is going to be 1. 1 times x is x. So you get x by itself on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side is 36 divided by 6, which is equal to 6. This is your potential solution. You want to make sure that you plug this back into the original equation to make sure that you actually do have the correct solution. So when you put 6 back into x, you get 6 times 6 is 36. And we get a true statement, which says that our solution, x equals 6, was a good solution. Here's another example. 7 is equal to y divided by 3. This is a division equation. And to solve for this, we would need to multiply. We're going to multiply by 3. So we multiply by 3 on both sides. This time, the variable is on the right side. And if you multiply by 3 on the right side, you get the 3's to cancel, and you get y by itself. On the left-hand side is 3 times 7, which is 21. And this is your potential solution. We put this back, we put this y equal to 21 back into the original equation to check your answer and make sure that we do get, in fact, the correct answer. And since we have a true statement in the end, we got the correct answer 7, or 21, sorry. Here's another multiplication equation, 0.3y equals 9. And to solve for this, we would divide by 0.3 and on the left hand side that would just give us y and 9 divided by 0 0.3 is 30. Check our solution, put that back and put the y equals 30 back into the original equation to see if we get a true statement and we do so y equals 30 is our solution. t divided by 0 0.8 is equal to 1.5 again this is a division equation 
so we're going to want to multiply both sides by 0.8 and if we do that the right hand the left hand side will just become t we have 1.5 times 0.8 is equal to 1.2. We have a potential solution of 1.2. Put that back into the original equation to see if you get 1.5. Indeed you do. So t equals 1.2 was the correct answer. When we're dealing with fractions it might be a good idea to look at this as a multiplication. Uh, this is 3 fourths times d equals to 9 and since we have a multiplication we would divide by three-fourths now if you recall dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal so instead of doing a division here we look at three-fourths times d equals nine and multiply by the reciprocal on both sides in multiplying by the reciprocal on both sides you are in fact dividing by three-fourths so you have three-fourths times d times four-thirds and that's going to cancel the threes and the fours to give us just D on the left hand side and then you have nine times four thirds and that works out to be uh, after you cancel the nine and the three you get three times four is twelve check our solution put that back in for D twelve equals to D and then we see that we got a true statement so we must have gotten the correct answer one more problem let's take a look at a sentence and then uh, write it as an algebraic expression and then solve 27 is equal to the product of 3 and X so we have 27 on the left hand side is equal to the equal sign product of 3 and X is 3x so this is a multiplication equation to solve for this we would divide by 3 on both sides and by dividing by 3 on both sides we get X is equal to 9